24-7, I'm Rachel Smith. Former White House trade advisor Peter Navarro's trial is now underway in Washington, D.C. Navarro was charged with contempt for defying a subpoena from the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. I mean, that carries a minimum of one month in prison. This. Navarro has pleaded not guilty. Now, another Trump aide, Steve Bannon, you might recall, was convicted last summer on similar charges. Well, the latest COVID variant may not be as bad this fall. Here's why. Two teams of U.S.-based scientists who have all been vaccinated seem to be able to fight off this latest variant. Now, this matches the findings previously released in Sweden and China. The Advocate Channel's John Lawrence explains. COVID-19 didn't take a vacation this summer, and it's not heading out for fall either. How bad it's going to get, we don't know. As you know, this is a very unpredictable virus. It's shown us that over the last three and a half years. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, COVID-related hospitalizations in the U.S. have been inching upward over the past few weeks. And on Monday night, the White House released a statement saying First Lady Jill Biden tested positive for the virus. A spokeswoman for Mrs. Biden says she's staying in her Delaware home dealing with, quote, mild symptoms. President Joe Biden tested negative. People more likely to know somebody who might have COVID or may have had COVID. Well, a new study suggests some wild animals don't do as well in cities and it has something to do with climate. Researchers analyzed photos of 40 mammals from 20 North American metropolitan areas. They looked at raccoons, squirrels, rabbit, foxes, cougars, and deer. They found that the animals did better in cooler urban areas with plenty of plants and trees. Well, for some, it seems like an endless summer. Now, scientists say the heat might be a trigger for frustration. Researchers found a correlation between high temperatures and anger. They randomly assigned 2,000 college students in California and Kenya to play video games in either a hot room or a temperate one. Their findings show that some of the students in the hot rooms became consistently more aggressive in their gameplay compared to those who were playing in the cooler rooms. However, more research is needed. Well, thanks so much for being with us for AC 24-7. For more, go to theadvocatechannel.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. For The Advocate Channel today, I'm Rachel Smith. Take care.